now we are ready to discuss the beautiful topic about surrender to wholeness. In the last two days in Asra, when we are going to celebrate Compassion Day tomorrow, the second, second of March 2021, we are going to celebrate Compassion Day, which is the same as my birthday. Something weird and strange happened here in Asram Awaloketeswara in the high mountain in the northern part of Bali. <clears throat> I have been permanently stay here around nine years after my retirement on 2012. Usually, rainbow is very rare here, sometimes once in a year, sometimes only once in six months. But the strange thing happened for the last two days. Yesterday morning, in my room, double rainbow covered my room. It was like an umbrella. This morning, the picture was taken by Albert here. It is like a bridge that connecting earth with the sky. This evening, again, within two days, there are three rainbows. When I do small exercise, centering yoga, I call it as sun centering yoga, sudden, suddenly in the eastern direction, I saw again double rainbow. Three rainbow within two days. I keep contemplating with the inner guru. The answer is beautiful. Rainbow is the symbol of wholeness the topic that we are going to discuss this evening, surrender to wholeness. The thing that you don't like is like hot sunshine. The thing that you like is like small rainfall. When both meet, that is the beautiful rainbow of life. That is also wholeness. As that is the beautiful message that I heard in this evening in Asram. Now we are going to discuss surrender to wholeness. It is an, a little bit more advanced topic. Very few people who are interested in this topic, but no problem. Since uh, not all people are interested in the higher level of the, the teaching. As I keep sharing from time to time, most of the energy drain come from negative and critical mind. As soon as the body having a lot of energy draining, the body can easily infected by any kind of illness. For your information, the most important reason why people experience energy draining from the mind because they fail to understand wholeness. Inner conflict like blaming yourself, guilty feeling, soul wound, bad memory, inner conflicts which invite the coming of outer conflict, also deeply rooted in the inability to live in wholeness. The same thing happened with negative biochemical reactions of the brain. As I told you before, the biochemical reactions of the brain is the intersection point where body, mind, and spirit meet. Those who have problematic life suffering so usually think negatively about the life. As a result, the biochemical reactions of the brain producing cortisol, adrenaline, which poison the body. Again, the root of the root is the inability to live in wholeness. It is very important for that reason to deeply understand wholeness. Wholeness is not only a beautiful understanding which open the gate of healing, but also can open the gate of peace. As soon as you live in wholeness, the energy draining that come out from the mind will totally stop. The inner conflicts which invite the coming of outer conflict also stop. 
the biochemical reactions of the brain will be far healthier if you live in wholeness. So that's why today at the peak of our meeting on the journey to celebrate Compassion Day tomorrow, 2nd of March 2021, we will discuss a little bit advanced topic, surrender to wholeness. Since we live in the cycle of time, which most of the people language is science and technology, I try to use the language of science and technology to explain wholeness. One of the famous physicists in 80 and 90, when I was still active teaching in the universe, university, his name is Fritjof Capra. Fritjof Capra is the author of the Tao of Physics. One of the beautiful books of Fritjof Capra is the title is Hidden Connection. There is hidden connection among everything that happened in this, the universe. Like the connection between human being and the plant. Without the plant, we don't have any clean oxygen. The connection between human being and animal, we have no enough nutrition. The same thing happened with our challenging time of coronavirus. One of the important thing is people destroyed the forest everywhere. Hidden connection. That is the language of Fritz of Capra when he explained about wholeness. In my time also, there is a famous social anthropologist. His name is Gregory Bateson. I still keep his book. The title of the book is Steps into an Ecology of Mind. Gregory Bateson explained wholeness in this, a beautiful explanation. The pattern that connect. In our time, the most famous meditation teacher, his name is His Holiness Thihnat Han. A famous meditation teacher, maybe the most famous one in our cycle of time. His Holiness Thihnat Han. The most important teaching of His Holiness Thich Nhat Khan is interbeing. What His Holiness Thich Nhat Khan called as interbeing, Gregory Bateson called as the pattern that connects, Fritjof Capra called as hidden connection, every those things explain one the same wholeness. And the clearest scientist who explain wholeness in this case is the physicist David Bohm. His most beautiful book is Health and Implicate Order. The well-known physicist David Bohm make a clear conclusion, now still available in YouTube. Uh, uh, millions of people watch his video. The word health comes from the word whole. It is hard to imagine there will be health if you don't deeply understand wholeness, that is not my conclusion. That is the conclusions of the famous physicist. His name David Bohm. His book is Health and the Implicate Order. And the beautiful work of David Bohm have been quoted everywhere, not only among the physicists, but also meditation master and many healers. Quote the beautiful conclusions of David Bohm. Health come from whole. It is impossible to experience perfect health if we do not understand wholeness. For that reason, this evening, I am going to share to you the beautiful topic of surrender to wholeness. Some of you may raise a question, what is wholeness? That is a beautiful question. What is wholeness? This is the way I keep explaining wholeness. Since wholeness is the deepest root of healing, the deepest root of peace. This is how I keep explaining wholeness to my close student. As universe cannot remove the night, because in the universe there is day and night, 
as ocean cannot remove the wave, as the rose cannot remove the thorn, life also cannot remove death. Health, you only deeply understand health if you experience disease. Darkness is here not to attack the light. Darkness is here to brighten the light. That is wholeness. Let me repeat once again, just to make the idea clear. As universe cannot remove the night, as the ocean cannot remove the wave, as the rose cannot remove the thorn, you cannot remove the negative things in life, like sadness, bad mood, uh, suffering, illness. You cannot remove it. In the same way, life cannot remove death, like the light cannot remove the darkness, because without darkness, there will be no light. That is wholeness. If you deeply understand and practice this idea of wholeness, you have all the capacity to heal yourself. Because behind all disease, there is always the deepest root of the inability to live in wholeness. That is wholeness. 